Good morning. You join me on a rather dull, overcast bank holiday Monday morning. And this morning was all about enjoying the art of photography. Nothing else, just that. You see, I can't always get up to the Lake District or the Yorkshire Dales every week. But what the last year and a half has opened up for me, and I'm sure for a lot of you as well, is the advantages of just getting out with your camera and seeing what you can find locally. So that was interesting, whilst it lasted, that little beam of light, clouds just broke that patch and sunbeams. But, it's too late, I missed it. One of those mornings where I want to get out with my camera. I've really no idea what I want to do, where I want to go. I want to stay local. And then, driving along, I discover this. So this is a local wheat field. And, recently been cropped. You've got lines in the wheat fields, and obviously the bales as well scattered around. So, I thought that could make some quite interesting photography subject. So, fully packed today, brought the old Whistler, the pat all my lenses. But I'm going to opt for this little beauty, the 70 to 200. What I'm going to do just to get things rolling is just walk around and held, trying to get my eye in. I'm at the top of the wheat field looking down because I feel that that's probably my best option because the, the wheat field is sloping down so obviously high above more options available nothing standing out at this moment what I've got to work out is what is the most interesting um, perspective and I've got to decide what's the best location to take advantage of these circular shapes and the diagonal lines as well it's basically what you is basically divided into three different types of topography and in itself is creating some nice shapes i'm just wondering down there's nothing really worked up there and i've decided that i want to show the the circular side face of each bale so i think that works better in line with the diagonal lines there's no light no light so it's going to be a case of see what i can do in the post process there's no harm in trying is there let's be honest Something different. No, I'm in that whatsoever. I walk down the, the side of the wheat field and I've come across this bale of hay here. Let me just show you. That there. And I've taken a shot and I'll show you this now. The, the problem is, what I've got to take into account is trying to get as much separation in the bells as possible whilst also looking for the best shapes and also using the the the, the diagonal lines where it's been cropped and i think this first shot with the bale on the left hand side it's just too too dominant as i'm walking down that dip in the landscape and there is becoming less and less prominent so that's where I started right up there looking down so options are 
options are reducing. Well, now when we get to the bottom, start to look up. It's a bit of fun, if nothing else, on a bank holiday Monday. So I think my options are opening up. It looks a lot better from here as I walk away from the bales of hay. They're not fighting with each other. They're all similar shapes. That's what I'm thinking anyway. And I'm still firing away. But I've got to think about separation still. I think that's key. But introducing the diagonals as a, uh, a leading part. And now, as I've walked further along, what's basically along down here, this diagonal line has come into play. It's a darker line. And you see, some, you can see there, there's two bales of hay stacked up on each other. So that's obviously different, it creates a, a contrast. So I'm going to find a way, see what I can get with that. So I still haven't changed my lens. I roll my lenses, but I'm still opting for the 70 to 200. And the reason for that is because I don't want to introduce the, the wider scene. You've got the, the sky, of course. You've got the houses. You've got the other trees on the left-hand side. And I just think that's going to introduce distractions. My main subject is the wheat field, the, the diagonal lines and the bales of hay itself. So I'm now walking along the bottom of the wheat field and I've got some leading lines being introduced. Focus is not an issue. I'm not going to get everything sharp focused, but I'm okay with that because I'm using that as part of the image, a bit of a, a fine art approach. So I'm kneeling down and by kneeling down, I've got the leading line from the first part of the wheat field coming into view. Now I'm going to throw that out of focus. So I'm going to focus on the, the upper part of the wheat field where all the bales of hair are. And I'll tell you another thing which I'm doing. I'm going to take lots of images, lots of photos. One thing I've noticed, and you may have noticed this yourself, that donkey. Can you wear that donkey? There's a farmyard nearby. Anyway. Yeah, one thing I've noticed or gained knowledge of is whenever I'm whenever I'm in the field and I think I've lined up a good shot, I thought, yeah, I've nailed that nailed that, rush home, all excited, put the old memory card and the computer, PC, load up the Lightroom, and then you're like, ah, oh, not quite as good as what I thought it was at the time. So, my tip of the day is take plenty of images. There must be something in the first place which attracted you to the scene, which caught your eye. So take different options of it, different perspectives, kneel down, get high, bring, bring other things, elements into the image. Because when you're out in the field, there is a bit of adrenaline flowing. It might just keep the old mind misty. So always keep your options open. One other thing which I'm going to have to do is to bring the crop element because I'm shooting at 200 all the way here and there's still parts of the road being introduced, but that's not a problem. So now I'm roadside, different angle, I'm on the opposite side of the field. See what options open from here, I'm climbing higher. So, things are opening up again. Doesn't necessarily mean I got a shot, but 
I'm persevering. Persevering, quite enjoying this. A bit of a slow start, but I'm getting into the flow of it now. So here's a different perspective. I'm looking up at these bales which are stacked on top of each other. And behind that, there's a telegraph wire full of birds. So I positioned it as much as possible. It's quite interesting this, I quite like this. Just ensuring I've got as much separation in the bales as possible. But yeah, it's got a bit of a, an urban stroke, rural feel to it. And by introducing the birds, it just adds that extra element and character. So again, I'm just gonna fire away take quite a number of shots because little minute features such as where the birds are positioned if there's some flying off some are I've not decided yet so I'm just gonna stand there for a while and get quite a number of shots So I've just come out this morning, I didn't really have a clue what I had in mind. I was going to head to the woods, see what I can find there, but then disappeared. Options appeared, the bales, the freshly cut crops, creating nice diagonal lines. You've got the birds, you've got the telegraph wires. The important thing, if you love photography, and you just get out no matter what and it's that initial urge just find that bit of push that motivation getting yourself out and just having fun enjoy your photographer enjoy what your camera can do and the world around us there's no light no light at all but I tell you what, what I'm playing with this morning is form, structure, different shapes, and just aligning them. Now you probably can't see that from there, but in the centre is a telegraph pole. And I've positioned it right bang in the middle of two bales of hair. And what I've done then is to frame it so that's on the right hand side of the frame you've got the telegraph wires with the birds on and i think that's my most creative shot of the day zoomed in 200 millimeter bit of a urban rural feel I've said that before but yeah i know at the start of this uh, vlog I was trying to get the best perspective, best side of the uh, bales of hair because everything's got a, a good side. I'm not sure which is mine. Yeah, just to get these sides, to get them all of these circular shapes. And as I've wandered around far and away, I've come to the realization that that's not actually the best option in terms of composing. But I've done a full circuit. I'm not sure how many shots I've taken. Let me just count. 42. 42 shots. And I still haven't finished. It'll be interesting to uh, see how many I get out of this.
Right, full circuit done. I think I've exhausted options available to me in this short time of space. The missus is wanting to go out by 10 o'clock, so a very short window indeed. Remember, get out, get clicking, just enjoy photography and what's around you. Keep smiling, till next time, bye bye.